Hey guys, uh, sorry about not uh, posting a video for uh, so many days. It's just been uh, crazy busy and of course I was having some holidays, Christmas holidays. Well, Merry Christmas and very Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, let's dive right into our code. So in the last video we established this model window where we'll, um, this button will fire a model window to add a new project. And even if we didn't fill any data, we were able to send, um, post the data to the project controller and of course there was no response and it just hung up you know so if you go to the firebug you can see that um, you can see that it, it tries to post but the data is null because in the in the JavaScript I'm, I'm using Ajax um, to post data I'm collecting data from this form and unfortunately there's no data okay that, that's okay now we need to uh, any kind of request whether it's Ajax request or a direct uh, conventional request the form submission we need to make sure that the criteria is being fulfilled for the project table um, to be able to add some data into project table, we need to make sure the project has a name. We need to make sure it has um, a date, a due date, and by default, whatever the columns, the table columns, we need to make sure they are being filled in before the form is being submitted, or the form the before the form is being added to the table. So let's let's go back to our editor. Uh, now in the in our editor, we'll. Laravel provides us out of the box functionality called requests and what requests I hope you know what what a request is basically you can refine all your validation rules you can validate whether data is correct or it's empty or not empty and whether it's correct or not and then you can go ahead and um, pass into the um, store method of your controller which will essentially create a new instance of your uh, object and store in the database column and then return redirect to wherever you want so in order to do so we'll create a new request a request will um, gives us this layer of abstraction which will make our job like really easy so we're going to be creating let's just say php artisan we'll, we'll be using the laravel generator here the artisan command line generator php artisan make request and let's just say uh, project request and it'll just create a request for us open up so by default it has two methods here we define our rules and he, this is uh, by default is f uh, false which means uh, who can basically authorize so at the moment we can say true if but we are using um, a, a, authentication fence around our application so only logged in user or the user who's the owner of this uh, his particular account can add a new project into his account so we're gonna say here if authenticated user check and if he's logged in then return true otherwise return false that way only a logged in user can um, add a new project to his account and here we're going to add some columns um, from our database table let's just go back to our database table for a second create projects and as you can see it's going to store um, name slug and a description and a due date so we're going to be needing these uh, to to store the the, the project uh, related information but it's not really important if someone wants to write description for the project it's not really like uh, required in my opinion but at least the project should have a name and and a slug or we can create a slug from the name and or we can write some description as well that's okay and then also definitely required is a due date so we're going to take these three table columns so slug description and due date so let's go back to here and let's just say return name and then uh, description which is DESC and then due date and what kind of rules we want to give it to them 
So name is basically, let's just say required. And then I'm going to use a pipe here. Um, don't forget to put the codes. And the minimum uh, shortest name would be like three characters and the maximum should be like, I think 50 characters should be enough. And then the next thing is, uh, we can say, just copy and paste this. And we can say there's no minimum, you know, you can, you can put whatever you want or you can leave a minimum description would be like at least, at least 10 characters and maximum is 150 characters. And due date is going to be uh, just, I'll just say required because I need the due date. Because a project cannot, cannot have, um, you know, imaginary date. We need to provide a, a date for that. So, okay, that looks good to me. So this request is going to test um, the data when we use this request in the controller method. So we're going to open our project controller. And here we're going to look for the store method, which is right here. And what essentially we will do is we'll pass in the, the request object because the request object is going to initialize for us an instance of the request and it's going to automatically pass in the um, these global request parameters the global request data that comes from anywhere um, outside anywhere from the front end you know so we're gonna pass in project request project request and we're gonna say uh, request treat it as a request to store it in a request variable and then let's just import this class on the top that makes it easy and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be testing whether the request that's coming is ajax because we're going to be returning an ajax response if it's an ajax request but if it's not an ajax request we wanna if it's an http request we wanna redirect back to the same page if the request fails or if it's, it doesn't fail so when we say same page means essentially in a non ajax request it has to come from a page which has a form so we want to send it back to the page that has form if it fails but if it doesn't fail we want to send them send back user back to the uh, project's home page because the request is successful so we need to different differentiate uh, if and uh, let's just say request it has a, ma uh, a method called ajax if the request type is ajax then do this else do this and if the request type is ajax what we want to do really is we, we, we want to create our slug first because that's something we don't have because the request if the request passes through the um, project request uh, class that means it has a name it has a description it has a due date so we don't need to worry about that but it doesn't have slug and we need our slug to be able to if you go and have a look at the table we need our slug and of course description due date and name is provided to us from the form but we don't have slug and that can be null but this can be this is by default set to false so this one we don't need to worry about time stacks are automatic soft delete is nothing and user ID will be stored when that's okay so slug is going to be we're going to use here a class that laravel provides us a helper classes so string slug it's a function uh, and statically i'm going to call it so request and i'm going to call it like let's i'm going to create a slug from the name now this class here is we need to import this class and it has a static method called slug that takes a string and basically converts into a slug. You can also write your own method if you really want to do that, but this is like kind of um, helper classes, so make use of uh, full use of Laravel. And then I'm going to be passing in the authenticator, authenticated user object because we need to uh, make sure a user has many projects. So I want to pass in the user ID, authenticated user 
has many projects. So I want to create a new project like so. Now I'm going to pass in an array of information here. We need the name. That's going to be uh, request. Sorry, can't type today. Name. And it's going to have a description. It's going to have a slug. It's going to have a due date. So let's just go here and change it. So I'm just going to call it um, uh, a slug because we just stored our slug in our variable here, slug. And description. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. And description. And we'll pass in the due date. Now, due date has been already converted to um, to be treated as timestamp, so we don't need to worry about that right now. Like how we are trying to um, put it in the database as a string or as a you know as a, a string to time or as an integer or we'll we'll worry about that later when we retrieve the date stamp because once it's re it's stored in database as a carbon instance so it makes our life a lot easier i'll show you that in a minute now the next thing is we're going to be building a, a response variable an array variable that will um have that we're going to pass in to to the ajax request if the request is successful we're going to pass in this um response so awesome close this model window uh, by let's just say we're gonna say clicking uh clicking top right corner is that right yeah there's a i guess there's a and and then i'm going to be passing this to the, the request so return response uh, let's just return it as a JSON and uh, pass in this variable so now this class also make sure to import this class on the top because we just called a static method and I guess it has already done so um, yeah it has already done for me that's the benefit of using a good editor it works hand in hand with you you know so make sure if you have a chance try to spend some money on PHP storm it'll make your life way easier okay if the request is not Ajax we're going to do exact same thing we're going to be we will be doing exact same thing but instead of returning a response JSON response will be redirecting user with a message so we don't need this response and all we need is basically a redirect we need to make sure this exists in our application because just in case someone tries to modify the form from the front end or if they don't have um, if they don't have like um, JavaScript enabled you know I mean who doesn't have JavaScript enabled these days everyone does but I'm just saying like things on the front end side can always be modified they, they can always be uh, changed and we want to make sure we have control over the, every type of request possibility so if it's an Ajax request do this if it does, it's not Ajax request do the usual thing so we must we must um, target this one of the possibilities so redirect and we're going to redirect back to projects and let's just say we're going to pass in a message with a message so message name is success and project let's just append uh, the project name uppercase and you see words and that's just simple PHP function if you if you if you know PHP very well or you can look up it's nothing but it it takes a string and converts that to uppercase that's all it does and I'm gonna say uh, has been successfully created we're gonna pass in this message to the um, window to the page projects page so that's done and in this case I guess that's all we need so let's see if this works let's see what what it gives us go back to here 
and let's just say I'm gonna open it up just refresh it so and then you try to put nothing and you try to just submit it and see if the request is working now as you can see it's still the error has changed but so it, when we go back to the open the request this is the response but look at the HTML response which is the project request auth is not found in the project request that's okay sometimes so we're gonna have to import this class here and then let's go back to the browser and hit refresh and open up the model window and submit and our um, uh, project request the class you know the instance is working because we don't we haven't specified the name we haven't specified the description although the date has been picked up um, 20 it's 17 today so I guess when you first open it it picks up a today's date or the last date I picked up anyway that's okay so there is a date it cannot be null it has to be some value so date picker will help us out with the today's value that's okay that's a good thing now you're posting today it's due today it's, it's still okay then then no date so I'm gonna say a name if I say let's say Eric but I just type let's just say full name and then if I say okay so that the name field has gone because our name is five characters and if I say two characters and try to resend it it will complain it needs as at least three characters that's that's good and I'm gonna say this is um, YouTube videos okay let's just give this um, the project name has to be let's say YouTube videos um, make a series of YouTube videos here is our description and let's do some spell check and then let's see what happens so we're going to be submitting this and we would like to see a response uh, in the same place as the error message so let's let's submit it and it's all good so it has gone ahead and added this task for us sorry project for us and has given us this response awesome close this window model window by clicking top right corner and I'm gonna go ahead and do that you can also get rid of this and you can add more and if you see the page refreshes and we see our first project good job guys by default the project is um, uh, not completed it's false so that's why it's showing us pending it has taken us due date as today's date and that's the current timestamp that's the current timestamp created we're gonna be playing with these timestamps using carbon instance the methods on the carbon class that will help us you know we can improve the way it looks like and that's what we're gonna do in the next video make sure you uh, subscribe make sure to hit some likes see if we can get some hundred likes or something like that i know i only have 10 subscribers but if you share this video with a couple of your friends or people you know or just put it somewhere on the social media uh, hopefully we, we can attract some subscribers and people who are like um, who love laravel they, they may they may find it interesting they may find it useful and let's build up a community together to 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 learn this thing and by the end of this video you should be able to uh, post uh, using ajax a new project you should be able to create a new project it should be visible here try to create like 10 15 projects they don't have any tasks yet in the next video i'm going to show you how to play with these timestamps and how to add new tasks how to create uh, eloquent relationships and maybe we'll try to add a method here delete and add it and stuff like that so till then um have a nice day i mean um i'll see you in the next video thank you very much